I've always been a writer ever since I can remember, including third grade, but I had no idea that I was going to be in advertising. I can tell you I didn't even know what advertising was. It's very simple, but if you look at it, it is an argument, it is a syllogism. We're number two, but we try harder. We're putting our name on the line. We can't afford to give you a dirty car. We can't afford to give you windshield wipers that don't wipe. We can't afford to give you dirty ashtrays. We presented a company that was willing to work for you. It was sort of like tacking up the manifesto on the door. And the one thing I'm sure we did is kind of write a manual for the whole rent-a-car business. I think we hit a chord. People talked about it a lot. They were intrigued by it. So when people started to say, hey, we saw your ad, it's terrific. Everybody kind of perked up. Uh, they began to be very proud. And the whole organization changed. The cars got better care. The customers got better care. They began to get a lot more customers. Their advertising has included the We Try Harder for years. I don't see too much of internet advertising, except when it comes up on the screen I'm looking at. I'm not an expert at my computer, but I do email. Occasionally, I'll use Google to look up something that I'm interested in. Computer drives me crazy. Well, I originally thought, yeah. <laughs> I think it's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure that it can be done. Imagine that this was a particular website yeah. or experience, and you tap that, and you get that sort of an experience. Yeah. But everything that you see here is all possible on a phone. So You when, mean a smartphone? Yes, exactly. Because I have a phone, and it doesn't do that. <laughs> it, it just makes phone calls. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Now, she may not understand, you know, how a banner ad works, and, or how, you know, iPads flip around, and what gyroscopes are. She doesn't need to know. She was focused on, you know, she knew why she wrote those three words. The concept is this pride, and we do this because we can't afford to do otherwise. We're not number one. We don't say we're not number one, we say we're only number two. She kept bringing us back to trying harder, not being just a tagline with a three-word manifesto. I was concerned that technology would rule rather than the idea because I think they can get swept away by all of this newness, like little toys to play with. But that's really not the point. That's not the point of advertising. The idea is primary. Are we doing this as a banner leading into a website? Everything that we are talking about will always be contained in this banner. Videos or maps or a guy standing there talking to me live or... I tried to guide them. I made them remember why they were doing it and how they could not go away from the theme. You guys got enough stuff to go? Oh, oh yeah. Squeeze your heads? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are the martinis? Oh, how the business has changed. <laughs> it's a lively bunch. I was impressed with how enthusiastic they were. It was a big job they were taking on. Made me think again. So this is just giving you an idea of where we were sort of looking at. We had this thought, which was basically behind almost every piece of content online. There was always a journey before it somehow. So what if Avis's team of employees was what made some of the web's most popular content possible? Obviously, we can go with actors, we could go with comedians, personalities was a big one. But then there's we also- We were thinking about the young, new consumer, not necessarily the regular traveler, or something more hip. You're a little bit a leap of faith yeah. that, um, you know, I might have seen the movie, but I may not be that interested. I guess I, I like it when it's, um, when it's a real story versus a fabricated story. Mm. The solution is in really finding out what's in the product as you discuss it and all these things. And sometimes you hear it in a meeting with the client. But the ability to identify that that's what you've heard is important. Think of how many people take the time to write stories today, write letters and thank people. Most of what people here in service industries when things go wrong. So when you do get those, uh, you know, usually it's really made an impact if somebody writes in and tells you what went really right. It's very interesting how you learn from the personal experience and the ability then to turn it into something that you think other people will understand as well. So let us as a team kind of regroup and, and kind of bring 
bring something back to the table. I think it was a very important learning meeting because in saying what she thought, she outlined a whole lot of stuff that we didn't know. I almost wore my jeans. Why didn't I? Everybody else did. <laughs> I just didn't think it was proper. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. How are you? Good. We really took what you said last time uh, on board, and I think we've we've come up with some really good, strong directions. So our idea was, can we capture authentic customer experiences by inspiring people to turn their written testimonials into personalised visual stories? The plan would be that with a team of illustrators, we can actually turn people's letters into these small animated films. Our plan is, is to develop thousands of these individual frames that are going to turn these letters into something that could be actually really quite touching. So a customer did just write a letter normally in, in plain English, mm -hmm. and then we would sort of, with the algorithm, pass her through and figure out which of these thousand frames make sense and stitch the video on the fly. Okay. And the output is a 30 second video, so which lives in that banner and then you can do all social things with it, right? right? Well, it's a crowdsourced campaign. Yeah. That's exactly right. But, but it's, it's a framework that keeps it true yeah. to the brand. Yeah. What distinguishes you besides your service is your attitude, which appears in your ads. And I think this new idea of using the technology is another kind of advertising that sets you apart. You took a lot of the feedback from the last session we had, and I think you guys did a nice job of sort of keeping it authentic. But I like the idea of this opportunity for people to kind of create their own. Um, I do think about how wide and vast all the, all the possible uh, screens have to be to make that kind of come together in a way that would be cool and interactive. But I, I like the concept. This number is just for, uh, for the illustrations. So for voiceover, these will actually be more because we'll, we'll take the scenarios, which are about 45 scenarios, and some of them have multiple endings. So those come out to even more. So really this number is, is going to be bigger when we figure this thing all out. What you're seeing here is a listing of the hundreds and hundreds of letters that we actually received from Avis that helped us shape our logic and how we put together uh, what these scenarios would be. They're all caps encapsulated in this one huge spreadsheet that's just absolutely mammoth. It's a bit like that feeling where you're going up to the beginning of a roller coaster. It's like you have no idea how high you're actually going to go up. We don't really know the full extent of what we have to create yet, no. but we know it's a lot. We'll just end up going, Aah! If you look at like the oranges, those are kind of general introductions to all of these pieces wherein we give the Avis tone of voice. The red pieces are introductions of people's names. Bright blue is introductions to the locations. Avis has locations in 981 U.S. cities. We account for all of them. There's a lakeside. Some mountains, some ominous black clouds, suburbia, nice white clouds, uh, and this is going to be the countryside. We're trying to target a, a 10 second or less render for a 30 second video, so this FPS needs to be up to 75. So that's 750 frames in 6 seconds. Everything will move and stuff, but like imagine this if, if he's light up and you know, here he can like Look play with his button. I understand. Yeah. We have so many. And that's gonna say, should yeah. we pull up the motion test? Yeah. yeah. Right. Here we go. Avis pays close attention to every customer note it receives from around the globe. We have to. It's for our own good. Like this one, from Rachel. Mm -hmm. During a visit to an Avis branch, if we don't return a lost item, we could lose the customer. After all, Avis needs you. You don't need Avis, and that's why we try harder. Well, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's something else, isn't it? <laughs> this is really interesting because it is on the cutting edge. It's <laughs> terrific. And I think that why We Try Harder lives is not only because they've used it for 50 years, but it's because people understand it as an idea in their own lives. I think I've always tried very hard. We Try Harder is somewhat the story of my life.